Are you thinking about remodeling your handling facility? Does your handling facility work well as it is? Well, could it work better? I think these are some questions we all need to ask ourselves as we think about the facility that we have to work our cattle. Usually there's something that can be done in just about every facility that will make working of cattle much easier, much safer for the animal, and also much safer for you as the producers. Uh, the thing that we notice in many uh, facilities, if we look at, at facilities across the state, is that these uh, chutes need to be a maximum of 26 inches wide. Many of them are wider than that, which allows animals to turn around. Uh, some of these facilities have been in place for a number of years. We need to take a close look at them, particularly if they're wooden facilities, and be sure that all the boards are still strong and are capable of holding animals. Uh, you know, these boards uh, get rotten over time and they need to be replaced so that we do have a good, strong, sturdy facility to run the animals through. Uh, we need to always check and be sure that we don't have any sharp edges or, or sharp corners that the animals are going to be coming in contact with. The easiest way to do this is to actually get down in the chute, uh, kind of squat down, move through the chute so that we're looking uh, at an angle and a height that's pretty similar to what the animals do. That way then we can see what the animal is seeing and pick up on things that we might not uh, notice otherwise. Also, uh, we need to look to see if there's going to be any shadows or anything that might cause that animal to not want to move through that chute. It may be that we could use a tarp, some cardboard or something to block the sunlight so that we don't have shadows being cast across the facility. If we are using something uh, on that wall to block the sunlight, we need to be sure that it is firmly fastened down and it's not going to be flapping in the wind because that does uh, distract the animal and, and sometimes cause them to be a, a little less willing to go through that facility. Uh, we need to take a look too if we've got a number of metal gates, particularly in the area coming up to the chute, if those are, are metal, as I said, we might consider replacing those with wooden gates. A good heavy wooden gate uh, works extremely well if it's properly braced. Uh, if an animal kicks, it will absorb a shock a lot more than, say, a lightweight uh, type gate would. So you might want to take a look at that also. Uh, you might even want to consider building a catwalk on the outside of your chute to make it a little bit easier to reach over the top to uh, move the animals on through. Look in the bottom of, of your facility also, all the way from uh, the entrance to the, uh, uh, the chute and on up through the squeeze chute to be sure that uh, the animals do have good footing. They don't need to be slipping and sliding as they're moving through. We've had more people that have started putting some concrete in their facilities, and this is fine, but it needs to be rough so that the animals are not going to be slipping and sliding. Uh, you might want to build you a small table there close to the facility so that you can put all your uh, tools that you're going to be working with, your syringes, your vaccine, your castration tools, all that. Have it somewhere where it's going to be handy and where you can keep it up off of the ground and keep it clean. If the area where the chute is located is dark, it may be that you need to put some lights up overhead that will give you uh, a little better lighting and it'll make it easier for that animal to be coming on through the chute also. Uh, if we will just take a little effort, look at that facility and decide if there are some things that, that need to be done, uh, it can make it a lot easier for us to work the animals and as I said earlier, it will make it easier to uh, prevent injury to that animal and to us as a beef producer. If you'd like additional information about remodeling handling facilities, contact your local extension agency.